Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. Asif Ali Sayed from the Department of Business Administration, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. Today, we shall be discussing about the module Types of Entrepreneurship and Social Enterprise of the People, Skill Development and Social Entrepreneurship. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the types of entrepreneurships and the different types of social enterprises. Introduction Here we would be dealing with the types of entrepreneurs and social enterprises. Every mind is a lock and can only be unlocked with a unique set of keys. Entrepreneurs are people who are unique in the sense that they think differently. They have distinct unique interest areas and they tend to be motivated by others at the beginning but move on to sustainable self-motivation in the long run. George Depp believes in the idea of entrepreneurial DNA by Joe Abrahams, a founder of Bozy Gold Global. The book is based on Joe's study of over 1000 entrepreneurs based on which he concludes that not all entrepreneurs are wired the same way. Deb 2040. Among those entrepreneurs, some of those go into towards establishing social enterprises. Types of entrepreneurship. Classification of entrepreneur types given forth by various authors is based on understanding the basis of their classification and trying to correlate whether we could put ourselves in any of these categories that would match our own traits. Entrepreneurial classification can be on the basis of unique strengths according to George Depp towards entrepreneurial DNA. It leverages the unique strengths, weaknesses and tendencies that are typical in each specific type of entrepreneurs. They can be classified into four major types. First is the builder. These people are driven by fast paced growth. Individuals having this type of entrepreneurial DNA tend to measure success through rate of growth in terms of turnover and infrastructure building. They are not satisfied by good income or steady development in their goals. They want exponential rise. They are believed to be expert recruiters of talent and high risk investors. People with builder DNA tend to show weaknesses in personal relationships and due to their volatile nature often result in high employee turnover rates in the organization they run. The second is the opportunist. Individuals with this DNA are optimistic promoters. They are believed to be good marketeers and salespeople. These people keep scanning their environment for business opportunities. They utilize their knowledge and ability to make the best use of opportunity in the form of timely investment and withdraw from the venture before it loses its charm and it ceases to be a cash cow. Opportunist DNA depends heavily on analysis of the balance sheets of their organization as a measure of their success. These entrepreneurs are thought to be impulsive decision makers. This kind of trait can make them or break them. The third category is the specialist. This DNA is prevalent in individuals who go through years of schooling, apprenticeship or on the job training. Specialist DNA drives one to be a very very analytical and tends to avoid high risk projects. Specialists generate most of their new businesses from referrals and networking. They tend to measure success in terms of personal gains and wealth accumulation. Their organization tends to show fair startup growth but since they are risk averse, it becomes difficult for such organizations to revert the plateau of sales in the later phase with a specialist leader. The fourth is the innovator. Innovators are people who love to invent, design and tinker. They are people who would rather immerse themselves in research and development rather than going through the balance sheets. Their success is tangled with the success of the product or service they invent or design. Many of them tend to be more socially oriented and we call them as social entrepreneurs. Ask them and they would say proudly that it is not about money. Individuals with high innovator DNA 
also tend to be introvert and the inventors among them find it challenging to collaborate with people and bring out their inventions before the world. There runs a risk of losing such great inventions and inventors that are not made public and are lost forever. Beyond these trait characteristics, there can be combinations like in case of Richard Branson, an opportunist and a builder, or Bill Gates, a specialist and a builder. He also suggests that what worked for these individuals doesn't guarantee that it will work for the next. So there is no generalization and all have to carve out their own paths guided by these torch bearers. Scale of operation. According to Steve Blank, there are four different types of entrepreneurs based on the scale of business that they do. Large company entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs are in the plateau phase of the organizational life cycle. They have to face challenges in terms of maintaining a product as cash cow in the market or work on innovations and product upgradations so that they may become star sellers with the high returns. They need to be aware of changes in consumer tastes and market conditions in terms of new technologies, legislations, new competitors, etc. However, these entrepreneurs learn the value of independence and responsibility fixing so as to ensure growth and thus they are termed as innovated intrapreneurs. Social entrepreneurs. Social entrepreneurs are people who are innovators or inventors of new products or services that would make this world a better place to live in. They are people with goals of philanthropy and collective social responsibility. These people are less oriented towards profit-making ventures, rather they build organizations that are instrumental in bringing transformational changes in our society like Sulabh Foundation by Dr. Bindeshwar Pathak. Entrepreneurship Genesis Arthur H. Cole in 1946 wrote a paper in Zigst, classifies entrepreneurs in three basic types on the history of American entrepreneurship in post-World War II context when American economy emerged as the leading world economy. Empirical, from scratch to 1860, style of thought, rule of thumb. These entrepreneurs have a laid-back attitude towards introducing anything new or revolutionary and follow tried and tested methods or thumb rule in the business process. Rational, from 1860 to 1890, style of thought, informed. The rational entrepreneur is an active scanner of the environment and is well informed about the socio-economic state of the market. He takes informed decisions and thus his business demeanor seems revolutionary. Cognitive From 1890 onwards, style of thought sophisticated. The cognitive entrepreneur is well informed, ready to collaborate, take risks and innovate. These people seem to be good leaders in terms of taking views from experts and specialists into consideration. These enterprises seem different as the cognitive leaders encourage thinking out of the box and thus take much higher risks in implementing radical changes. Innovativeness Ability Clarence Danhoff classified entrepreneurs into four types based on innovativeness and capacity to adapt to change based on a study on the American agriculture in his book Changes in Agriculture the Northern United States, 1820-1870. Innovative Entrepreneur This category of entrepreneur is an emblem of innovativeness. These type of entrepreneurs are capable of generating new innovative ideas, able to learn and adapt to new technologies. They keep scanning their environment in order to discover new markets for their products and ideas and develop organizations that employ disruptive methods for bringing about revolutionary changes in the business environment. Such entrepreneurs need a befitting environment to thrive. This is one of the reasons why educational curriculum should create opportunities for students to get access to more practical aspects of a variety of subject areas so that students develop a broader mindset and a wider thought base. Such entrepreneurs adopt disruptive techniques and unconventional methods to bring about transformation in lifestyle and 
these entrepreneurs are pioneers of new products, services and ideas. They are builders who progress through new developments in various forms. Adoptive or imitative entrepreneur. Such entrepreneurs are copycats. They keep scanning the market for ideas that have clicked and products that show good selling potential. They employ reverse engineering and launch already existing products and ideas in their own manner of presentation. In case of production units, they adopt technologies and methods innovated by others. Such type of entrepreneurs find relevance in underdeveloped or developing countries where they find usefulness in the form of providers of relatively low cost goods and services as compared to that of developed countries. Fabian Entrepreneurs Fabian entrepreneurs are characterized by over precaution to do something new or to follow or change to something that is better. They rarely experiment when it calls for any change regarding their organization. They are driven only by the fear of insolvency or absolute failure if they did not adopt any change. So it is in their nature to maintain a status quo for as long as possible. These are mostly second generation entrepreneurs managing a family business who due to their laziness or lack of foresight about the changing dynamics of the market competition have a tendency to follow in the footsteps of their predecessors. Drone entrepreneurs such entrepreneurs are conservative or orthodox in their outlook. They are always resistant to change. They feel uncomfortable to move out over and adopt new technologies of production. They are thus in the danger zone of high failure rate and extinction by getting pushed out of the market by competition. Types of businesses Under this category, we can classify entrepreneurs as described as 1. Business entrepreneurs These entrepreneurs are creators of ideas, processes and products that have potential of selling in the market. So these people are risk takers who build a business from the scratch around an idea or innovation they hit upon, waiting patiently to bear fruits. Second is trading entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs, as the name suggests, are concerned with the trading activities of products taken from manufacturers. The third is industrial or manufacturing entrepreneurs. Industrial or manufacturing entrepreneurs identifies products or services to be produced to scale based on simple economic indicators of demand and supply. The fourth are corporate entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs are mostly those who have shown high profit and high growth and hunger to scale up their enterprises. They started small and with time and effort turned into big business corporations who are now capable of successfully hybridizing the process of builders and manufacturers. The fifth is agricultural entrepreneur. These entrepreneurs are people who are devoted to undertake agricultural activities or market agricultural producers. Indian agro market shows huge gap between the producers and the sellers, thus creating great scope for innovation to bridge these gaps. Forms of entrepreneurs List of various other forms of entrepreneurs that we come across are Technology entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs are technology innovators or simply people who are there informed to make use of technology. Repeat, technology entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs are technology innovators or simply informed people who make use of technological developments as tools for their business. Their main assets is technical expertise which they use as a leverage to sell their technology itself or use the technology for refining business processes as manufacturing, operations or sales. Pure entrepreneurs A pure entrepreneur is the one who is motivated by psychological, economical, ethical considerations. He undertakes an entrepreneurial activity for his personal satisfaction in work, ego or status. Induced entrepreneurs These are entrepreneurs that are intrigued or induced by policy reforms by the government. They recognize an opportunity that arises out of these policy changes that create scopes for assistance, that create scope for assistance, incentives, concessions and other facilities to start a venture. Many small business initiatives are results of policy initiatives for financial assistance, technical support, 
raw material inventory on credit and assistance with the marketing of the product by institutions like NSIC. One such initiative currently in implementation is Make in India initiative. Growth entrepreneurs, these entrepreneurs have a desire to grow fast and grow large as quickly as possible. These people are expert environmental scanners who are able to recognize high tides for self-development and wealth creation. Novice entrepreneurs, an entrepreneur who is the first timer or a rookie, one who is new to the business venture or startup, it simply means that he lacks ownership experience and does not indicate lack of industry experience. Serial entrepreneurs, a serial entrepreneur is someone who systematically starts new ventures and moves on by delegating other efficient people to run the venture on his behalf in search of newer challenges and ventures. Internet space is abuzz with examples of such serial entrepreneurs like Krishnan Ganesh, co-founder and CEO of Tutor Vista, Manu Agarwal, CEO and founder of Naptol, and Kunal Bhal, CEO of Snapdeal.com. Portfolio or habitual entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs are termed by many as variant of serial entrepreneurs. A portfolio entrepreneur starts and runs a number of business with a motive to have multiple lines of revenue at different stages of maturity. First generation entrepreneurs. This category consists of those entrepreneurs whose parents or families had not been into business and was into a salaried service. The first generation entrepreneur is one who starts an industrial unit by means of an innovative skill. He is essentially an innovator combining different technologies to produce a marketable product or service. Women entrepreneur. Women entrepreneurs run enterprises that are managed by one or more women entrepreneurs in proprietary concern or in which she or they individually or jointly have a share capital of not less than 51% as partners, shareholders or directors of a private limited company. Members of the cooperative society have been termed as women entrepreneurs. Nascent entrepreneur. Nascent entrepreneur is an individual who is in the process of starting a new business. Lifestyle entrepreneurs. Lifestyle entrepreneurs promote their particular style of living as a business venture. Their basic intention is living life in their own style for the fun of it. These people are good marketeers and they are able to coax and profit from telling people how to live like themselves. Copreneurs, a married couple venturing together in the form of a shared ownership, commitment and responsibility for a business are called copreneurs. Such couples represent the dynamic interaction of the systems of love and work. Social entrepreneur. Social entrepreneur is one who is dedicated in his effort for social changes through social innovation and entrepreneur. His desire is to bring changes in the society which is overwhelming. Intrapreneurs. It is a corporate sector sponsored institutionalized entrepreneurship where the invention or innovation is owned by the organization which promise of fair compensation and recognition of the innovator. Fifteenth is entrepreneur by inheritance. At times people become entrepreneurs when they inherit the family business. In India there are a large number of family controlled business houses. Firms in these houses are passed from one generation to another. Types of social enterprises. Based on the return on investment we can generally divide enterprises as depicted by the following figure Sarm Mainto 2016. On the basis of the above information, social enterprises can be of the following three types Conventry and Warswick Cooperative Development Agency Limited 2016. Community Enterprises Enterprises which is represented by people from a specific geographical area or any particular community to further their collective interest by the way of facilitating their sustenance in a systematic manner or uplifting their standards of living. Example, let's say a football club called United of Manchester 
the Natural National Lottery 2016, a community benefit society football club owned and governed by its members and supporters. It has three full-time staff with over 300 volunteers. The club has raised around $6 million pounds towards a new community stadium, including 1.8 million pound forms of community shares and another 400,000 pounds from fundraising. Social firms. It is an initiative to bring a category of people into social folds like differently abled people, women workers, child rights, child labor, women rescued from human traffickers, acid attack victims, and others who find it difficult to find space in the mainstream job market. Such an initiative may be taken through funding by a philanthropist, government schemes, or a CSR, that is Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative. An appropriate example would be Hastashilp Gurukul, Silicon India 2012, sets up a craft ashram to secure the livelihood of women and youth community in Belda in Nayangar block of West Bengal. Cooperatives. Wikipedia defines cooperative as a, also known as a co-cooperative or a co-op or a coop, is an autonomous association of people united voluntarily to meet their common economic, social and cultural needs and inspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled business. Amul would be an example of a cooperative society in India. Development Trusts Community enterprises which aim to develop a community usually through the ownership and management of property like Central Waqf Council. Public Sector Spinouts Independent social enterprises set up to deliver services that were previously provided by public sector organizations also known as externalized services. Trading arms of charities. These are set up to undertake trading activities in order to raise money for their charity parent company, example charity shops, catalogs, training and consultancy. Fair trade organizations. These are committed to ensuring that producers are paid a fair price for what they actually produce. Let us summarize what we have learned. The classification of the various type of entrepreneurships and entrepreneurs can be done on the basis of their unique strengths or scale of operation. Classification can also be done on the basis of the innovativeness ability that are present in our economic ecosystem or categorized on the basis of innovativeness and capacity to adopt change. Further, the classification can also be done on the basis of a social entrepreneurship, a framework for socially conscious society and creation of social enterprises for addressing the utmost pressing social needs of the society and developing socially oriented professionals in our society. Thank you.